Hello guys, welcome back to Euro 2020 predictions match day 3. You might have realised that it is a bit early from the previous one and that's really because I've got a busy few days coming up so the real time I can really, really do it is now. So that's why I'm doing it early. But anyway, still a lot to talk about, still a lot of predictions to get through so let's get straight down to it. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, give us another big fat buzz on if you enjoy it and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Italy versus Wales. Italy have already qualified for Euro 2020 last 16. Wales are more than virtual qualified. But I still think they could get knocked out if I remember correctly. And the fact of that happening is going to be very, very likely. I'm expecting a real change squad from the Italians. Uh, in their third game against Wales. So I'm going to call this one a draw, which I think it will be. I'm not sure whether the score will be quite correct, but I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Switzerland versus Turkey. Now, Turkey are knocked out of Euro 2016. That got confirmed earlier today or yesterday. I can't quite remember. Yeah, it's yesterday. I think they lost to Wales. And Switzerland lost to Italy. If I remember that correctly, you obviously could correct me down in the uh, comment section below anyway. But yeah, I, uh, this game I really ain't got nothing much fighting on it. I think Switzerland need to win and Wales to lose to even have a slight chance of qualifying. There is a third spot qualification, but I'm not sure how it works. So I'm going to leave that out for now. But I'm going to go for another draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Ukraine versus Austria. Ukraine, they played earlier today as well. I think they won. Qualification, I don't think that it's quite there yet for Ukraine. Austria, I can't quite remember. And they've said, no, they've still got to play uh, Netherlands as I'm recording this. You might be watching this after that game's been played, which could have a, you know, a slight change in my position, but I've got to do it now. So I'm going to go for a Ukraine win for that one, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is North Moldova versus Netherlands. The two teams that I played earlier was North Moldova and Ukraine, and Ukraine did win that. I remember that much. Netherlands and Austria are still at play as I'm filming this, so you might be watching this, you know, once match day two's done and over with, which is understandable, but I have not got no time to film it after, so this way, as I said, I'm doing it now. Purely flat game anyway, I'm going to go for a comfortable Netherlands win, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Netherlands win. My next one is Finland versus Belgium. Belgium have beaten Denmark 2, I think it's 2 now, and it's just literally been played, that, so that frustrates me, it's just been played. But Denmark are out of Euro 2020, I think. Finland and Russia still got to play each other, so with Denmark got to play Russia, and Finland got to play Belgium. So, you know, it could, yeah, again, it could have a mixed result on my prediction but anyway back to the Finland Belgium game I think Belgium will win that one quite comfortably and I'll go for a 3-1 score line for that one my next one is Russia versus Denmark literally just speak about this uh, game I'm so happy for Christian Eriksen it seems to be okay he seems to be recovering in the hospital it's been too close to call again and what I've heard about UEFA giving Denmark basically three choices after that collapse, I'm horrified with. I did tweet or put nothing about on social media because I don't know how true it is. But apparently, if you have not heard, Denmark had three choices. The three choices were to assume the game, which is what happened, or play it the day after, or a 3 0 for, uh, forfeit. Not good for your way for, you know when that happened but I do think there is some truth in that but going to this game I'm not, I can't, I can't quite remember I don't think Russia could qualify either so it really is a fair play shootout I'm going to hopefully stick up for Denmark when hopefully it does happen for Denmark they did play well against Belgium just Belgium out took them in the second half I'm going to go for a 2-1 Denmark win for that one 
My next one is Czech Republic, sorry, against England. Now, there is a poll on my Twitter, which the links for that are down in the description below. If you want to get involved, you've got a Twitter, uh, Twitter account. On the vote on who's going to win tomorrow's game between England and Scotland. If you want to go get involved, as I said, just go in the description, find my Twitter link, click on that Twitter link, it takes you straight to my Twitter, Twitter page, and you can get voted on that now. But anyway, back to this game. So Czech Republic versus England. As I said, it could really have a big impact on you know what happens tomorrow. But Croatia have got to play Czech Republic. And if Czech Republic win, they're basically through. I'm going to go for a draw, I think, for this one. Because I think both teams will qualify. I expected Croatia to beat Czech Republic. That didn't quite happen. I'm going to go for a draw. Because, I, yeah, again, I expected both teams to switch up. A little bit. I'm going to go for a 2 2 score over that one. My next one is Croatia versus Scotland. Now, Scotland have got to pick something up off the England game for even have a slight chance of qualifying in the top two. As I said, there's a third place path, but I don't know if you know anything about it. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below and let me know. But anyway, so I reckon Croatia will win this game quite comfortably anyway against Scotland. They're going to have to, but they're going to need to beat Czech Republic first. So I'm going to go for a Croatia win, I think, just about. And I'll go for a 1-0 Croatia win for that one. Now, this is quite good because all the, all the games have to be played. So, like, all the Group E have to be played at 5 o'clock, bit up when we do the end of the season of the Premier League. But anyway, next game is Switzerland versus... Poland. Now, no, it's not Switzerland, it's Sweden. Sweden! Um, anyway, Sweden goes up against Poland. Now, I do know Poland are very good at football. I've watched them over this competition and I've seen some amazing things from the Poland. Sweden, I'm trying to get it right now, Sweden are doing okay. I'm not sure how the group stands. I think it Spain, Poland, Sweden and Slovakia. So I think Sweden need to win this game. Obviously it goes on their, pre uh, their game coming up. But anyway, I'm going to predict a Sweden win. And I'm going to predict to for a 2-1 Sweden win. I just think they might edge the Polish, even though they are pretty good. I know some of you might be comment commenting why I'm saying that already. And please feel free to do so. The next one is Slovakia versus Spain. Easy Spain win, 2-0. The next one, now this is a group I really have been looking forward to and do enjoy watching because it's such a good group to have in Euro 2020. But it's Germany versus Hungary. Hungary cannot no longer qualify, I don't think. Actually, yes, they can because they played. Yeah, so Hungary can still qualify as a record in this, but I don't think they will. Going up against Germany. Now, Germany, to me, have had that, you know, bit of a sticky situation. I think it's France they played, which is fair enough. I'm going to go for a Germany win, though, for this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Germany win. My last one for the group stages is Portugal versus France. Ronaldo versus... Kieran and Pepe, I might have put out from that correct, I'm probably not. You know, Andre Griezmann, it's got to be one of these games I'm really going to look forward to over the next week. So, Portugal against France. First, I think Portugal are. First is second. I'm not sure quite how the group, say, how the group is, but anyway. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So a big fuck for the night. You enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.